friends good morning welcome to my channel balu master today i am going to discuss target je main 2020 part 3 today's topic friends trigonometry trigonometry chapter is very very important for je mains friends usually they are asking trigonometry means they are going to ask the questions from either compound angles multiple sub multiples or transformations or they can ask from questions heights and distances also friends along with these topics you have to work out on heights and distances also today i'm going to discuss previous year trigonometry questions how they asked what is the examiner strategy you will see friends coming to your first question friends question number one if root 2 sin alpha by root over 1 plus cos 2 alpha is equals to 1 by 7 and root over 1 minus cos 2 beta by 2 is equals to 1 by root 10. Alpha and beta both are in first quadrant. 0 less than or equals to alpha and beta less than or equals to pi by 2. Then they are asking tan of alpha plus 2 beta. Let us consider tan of alpha plus 2 beta is equals to. It is of the form tan of a plus b. What is the formula for tan of a plus b? Tan a plus tan b whole by 1 minus tan a into tan b so now your concentration on tan alpha and tan 2 beta just if you find out tan alpha tan 2 beta just you substitute you will get the answer friends by using these two equations find out tan alpha and tan 2 beta results look at carefully friends let it be called this is equation 1 this is equation 2 by 1 so root 2 sin alpha by 1 plus cos 2 alpha means 2 cos square alpha 2 cos square alpha under root that is what root 2 root cos square alpha gives cos alpha because alpha in first quadrant that is equals to 1 by 7 root root cancel sin by cos tan alpha is equals to 1 by 7 already tan alpha you want you are getting the result coming to second inequality so by 2 by 2 what we can able to write means 1 minus cos 2 beta means 2 sin square beta so root 2 sin beta by root 2 is equals to 1 by root 10 of course beta also in first quadrant that's what that is positive root will be cancelled sin beta is equals to 1 by root 10 now you want tan 2 beta tan 2 beta you want means first of all let us find out tan beta so by right angle triangle you can able to write 1 root 10 this is nothing but root over root 10 whole square minus 1 that's what root 9 that is nothing but 3 from this tan beta we can able to write 1 by 3 now you want tan 2 beta result that's what uh, i'm going to simplify tan 2 beta is equals the formula for tan 2 beta is 2 tan beta by 1 minus tan square beta so 2 tan beta by 1 minus tan square beta 1 by 3 whole square that's what 2 by 3 by 1 by 9 1 minus 1 by 9 8 by 9 3 3 is a cancel 2 4 is a cancel the result is nothing but 3 by 4. So tan 2 beta result 3 by 4, tan alpha result 1 by 7. That's what you are going to get. Tan alpha is equals to 1 by 7 plus tan 2 beta is nothing but 3 by 4 whole by 1 minus 1 by 7 into 3 by 4. Take LCM here. So 4 plus 7 3 is a 21 by 28 whole by 28 minus 3 by 28. 28, 28 get cancelled. 25 by denominator 25. 25, 25 get cancelled. The answer is 1. Now what we are getting tan of alpha plus 2 beta the result is nothing but 1 1 is your answer. coming to question number 2 if x is equals to sigma n is equals to 0 to infinity minus 1 whole power a into tan power 2n theta and y equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity cos power 2n theta for 0 less than theta less than pi by 4 then what about the relation they are asking so let us see friends first of all let us try to simplify x value and y value then you go by using verification that is the logic so very simple whenever they are given as sigma that's what uh, that is what summation so sigma n is running from 0 to infinity this quantity means uh, if you take n is equals to 0 minus 1 whole power 0 that's what 1 tan power 0 1 so that's what 1 minus 1 whole power 1 if you take n is equals to 1 minus tan n equal to 1 means tan square theta if you take n equal to 2 minus 1 whole square that's what positive tan power 4 theta minus tan power 6 theta 
plus how many terms means so on 0 to infinite so so on terms similarly if you see y value y value also the same thing 0 to infinite only take n equal to 0 1 if you take n is equals to 1 plus cos power 2 theta plus cos power 4 theta plus cos power 6 theta plus so on so here in the first sequence it is alternative plus and minus whereas here all are positive now if you observe 1 and 2 both are infinite series as well as gp that's what gp infinite series formula s infinite is equals to a by 1 minus r where a is nothing but first term r is nothing but common ratio so that's what here first term if you see this can be written as x is equals to first term a is equals to 1 by 1 minus common ratio minus tan square theta by 1 is nothing but minus tan square theta minus of minus plus tan square theta 1 by tan 1 by 1 plus tan square theta that's what 1 by secant square theta that's what cos square theta so x result is nothing but cos square theta coming to next y value a by 1 minus r r is nothing but what cos square theta by 1 that's what cos square theta only 1 minus cos square theta sin square theta so this is what 1 by sin square theta so this is what y result now let us go by using option verification one by one the first option if you see y into 1 plus x if this result 1 means that is the correct answer otherwise that is not the correct answer y is equals to 1 by sin square theta into 1 plus x 1 plus cos square theta so these two values never be cancelled if it is minus means 1 minus cos square theta sin square theta so this this will be cancelled you will get it 1 so this is minus answer is correct answer so y into 1 minus x y into 1 minus x means which option correct answer third option is correct answer so remaining all options wrong so it is very very easy question from trigonometry they are going to ask friends uh, so don't miss this kind of questions uh, okay coming to next question is yes, coming to question number three if 10 into sine power 4 alpha plus 15 into cos power 4 alpha is equals to 6 alpha belongs to minus pi by 2 pi by 2 then what about the result for 27 cosecant power 6 alpha plus 8 secant power 6 alpha so this can be written as what first of all let us try to simplify this one then what we can able to write means this can be written as 10 times of sine power 4 alpha plus 15 times of cos power 4 alpha that is what 6 into this can be written as 1 square so 1 square can be written as 1 can be written as sine square alpha plus cos square alpha whole square that's what this can be written as 6 into sine square alpha plus cos square alpha why because cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is nothing but 1 so square is there apply square this can be written as 6 times of sine power 4 alpha plus cos power 4 alpha plus 2 sine square alpha cos square alpha so whereas left side 10 sine power 4 alpha plus this is plus 15 cos power 4 alpha is there so now what you are going to do means throw to divide with cos power 4 alpha then you will get it complete equation in terms of tan so that's what if you divide with cos power, cos power 4 alpha you are going to get 10 tan power 4 alpha plus 15 is equals to 6 times of tan power 4 alpha plus cos power 4 alpha by cos power 4 alpha 1 plus 2 and cos power 4 alpha if you divide 1 cos square alpha is cancelled 2 tan square alpha remaining just you multiply and convert into quadratic expression so 10 tan power 4 alpha plus 15 is equals to 6 tan power 4 alpha plus 6 plus 12 tan square alpha this can be written as which implies 10 tan power 4 minus 6 tan power 4 4 tan power 4 alpha minus 12 tan square alpha plus plus 6 is there plus 15 15 minus 6 plus 9 equal to 0 now put tan square alpha is equals to some p that's what you are going to get 4p square minus 12p plus 9 is equals to 0 so this can be written as so this is the expression of 2p minus 3 whole square that is equals to 0 so this can be written as 2p minus 3 is equals to 0 2p is equals to 3 then p is equals to 3 by 2 what about p p is equals to tan square alpha so that's what tan square alpha is equals to 3 by 2 implies tan alpha is equals to root over 
3 by root over 2. That's what root 3 by root 2. Now very simple logic you want to find out this result means just by using this information by right angle triangle let us simplify cosecant alpha and secant alpha results. So if you simplify by right angle triangle so tan alpha means this is root 3 this is root 2 obviously this can be written as root over root 3 whole square 3 plus root 2 whole square 2 that's what root 5. Uh -huh. Cosecant alpha can be written as from this root 5 by root 3 same as let us find out secant alpha. Secant alpha can be written as root 5 by root 2. So now these two results substitute in the given equation, you will get the answer. That is what 27 times of. So root 5 by root 3 whole square. That's what pi by 3 whole power 1 by 2 whole power 6. So pi by 3 whole cube plus 8 times of pi by 2 whole power 3. Now very simple logic. So here pi cube is there, pi cube is there. So that's what pi cube you can take common. That's what 27 by 3 cube 27 plus pi cube common means 8 by 2 cube 8. So 8, 8 get cancelled, 27, 27 get cancelled. So pi cube means 125 into 1 plus 1, 2. 125 into 2 is nothing but 250. So what is your answer? 250 is the correct answer. So this kind of approach questions also very very easy friends. Let us move to next. coming to fourth question friends. So cos cube pi by 8 into cos 3 pi by 8 plus sin cube pi by 8 into sin 3 pi by 8. This kind of questions are very very easy questions. Just let us convert the angles. If you see this is 3 pi by 8. This can be written as pi by 2 minus pi by 8. If you take LCM you are going to get 8 LCM 2 4 is a pi 3 pi by 8 you will get it. Similarly if you write down here also pi by 2 minus pi by 8. Now if you observe you are getting cos cube pi by 8 cos 90 minus theta gives sin theta sin pi by 8 plus sin cube pi by 8 sin 90 minus theta gives cos pi by 8. Now very very easiest approach this is what uh, if you see the least value is nothing but cos here sin just let us take common cos pi by 8 into sin pi by 8 you are getting cos square pi by 8 plus sin square pi by 8 cos square theta plus sin square theta is nothing but 1 that's what you can able to write cos pi by 8 into sin pi by 8 into this result is nothing but 1 now whenever cos and sin multiplication is there just you multiply and divide by 2 that's what 2 by 2 that's what you are going to write 1 by 2 into 2 sin a cos a the result is sin 2a 2 into pi by 8 so very very simple approach question this is 1 by 2 into sin 2 4 are cancel sin pi by 4 sin 45 is nothing but 1 by root 2 so that's what the result is 1 by 2 root 2. Of course, J means only. They are going to ask very, very easy questions from trigonometry part, friends. So, now the answer is option 2. Move to next question. Coming to next question, friends. Question number 5. This is, uh, they are asking this question from heights and distances. Yes, friends. Heights and distance also very, very important. In 2020, they are asking from heights and distance the question. Look at carefully, friends. Two vertical poles of lengths 20 meters and 80 meters stand apart on the horizontal plane the height which is in meters of the point of intersection of the lines joining the top of each pole to the foot of the other from this horizontal plane is dash very simple question friends two poles are there one is 20 meters and 80 meters uh, height 20 meters height and 80 meters height let it be called According to the question, it is there on horizontal plane. Yes. So now, the height they are asking, which height they are asking? Of the point of intersection of the lines joining the top of each poles. And with respect to the opposite sides, this place. So they are asking, this height they are asking. Point of intersection means, this, this is the point of intersection. They are asking this is height. This height they are asking. So very simple question friends. Let it be called this is what some alpha. This is what some beta. 
and this distance we don't know let it be called some x this distance also we don't know let it be called some y now almost it is clear that is what you are going to write uh, the names a somewhat b c then d okay so let it be called this is e and f so very clear here from triangle a c d from triangle a c d what we can able to write means tan alpha we can able to write tan alpha is equals to tan alpha equal to opposite side 80 by adjacent side x plus y similarly from triangle a f e is equals to we can able to write tan alpha is equals to the same tan alpha is equals to h by x next coming to next one from triangle c a b from triangle c a b what we can able to write c a b is equals to angle is beta tan beta is equals to opposite side 20 by adjacent side x plus y similarly from triangle c a b we can able to write tan beta is equals to h by y now what i'm going to write if you observe here <coughs> tan alpha is equals to 80 by x plus y tan alpha equal to h by x so very clearly from these two informations this is also tan alpha this is also tan alpha by these two equations we can able to equate these two so that implies you can able to write 80 by x plus y is always equals to h by x from this h can be written as 80x by x plus y coming to this from these two tan beta equal that's what uh, this from these two informations we can able to write uh, 20 by x plus y is equals to h by y from this information h can be written as 20y by x plus y yes of course this is also h this is also h so what we can able to write by using these two so let it be called equation number one and equation number two by one and two i am going to write 80x by x plus y is equals to 20y by x plus y x plus y x plus y get cancelled then from this information we can able to write 24s are cancelled 4x is equals to y to find out the value of h so that's what you are going to write so you are going to substitute in equation 1 or in equation 2 the value of x or y you will get the value of h so by 1 by 1 h is equals to 80x by x plus y can be written as 4x so 4x right now so that's what 80x by 4x plus x is nothing 5x xx get cancelled 16 so the value of h is nothing but 16 they are asking this height height is nothing but 16 so friends very very easy concept whenever this kind of heights and distance questions given if you convert into diagram approach the question you can able to solve very very easily four marks in your pocket no doubt at all so trigonometric chapter it is not a difficult chapter friends please keep remember so just based on normal trigonometric formulas if you know and also heights and distance also if you are strong then you can able to do very very easily trigonometric chapter also so i'll come with new topic in the next session friends uh, thank you very much friends that's all for today's class thank you very much friends thanks a lot bye friends